question is, is he going to reform on Sabbath? Never in the reign of pig shit. Pig shit. Pig shit. Pig shit. It finally happens. It finally yeah. happened. <laughs> It kept the Sabbath franchise going with a series of alternate singers. All of them interesting, maybe, but none a true replacement for the original. For years, Ozzy and the rest of Sabbath barely spoke. But then, at an Ozfest date in 1997, they reunited to play a few tunes, and it felt good. Single week, I suppose, when you ask me, is it ever going to happen? So, yeah. Yeah, well, um... Ozzy's manager called my manager up and said that Tony and Ozzy had got were working on stuff together and um, they were getting along pretty well and we were thinking about putting the original band together and would I be up for it? So of course I was just sat there thinking about it for about two three, years, three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> she says, yeah, let's do it. It's not what I planned. Whenever I plan something, it all falls to pieces. Mm -hmm. But if I don't plan anything, mm -hmm. then, it, then it, it all comes and lands on me. It's like the Black Sabbath thing. And I, I thought, just for the nostalgia, we'll do it, you know. But... told lies by management we were taken advantage of by so, so many people and we've all been through a lot of emotional things and a lot of addiction problems and a lot of marital problems and to come around after nearly 30 years and, and just go we're all still alive guys hello Oz. hello Tom we meet again <laughs> how many times is this now <laughs> What do you want to do? Uh, Have a, you know, uh... That one. Actually, you and Ozzy didn't get along too well over the years. And um, what, what made you finally talk to each other, not just on a, on a business level. I gave him half a million dollars. the reason why you couldn't do the Ozfest? Is it just too much, like having 23 shows and no sets? No, no, at all. It wasn't for me. That question probably is better to ask uh, maybe Ozzy or Tony or Giza, because mm -hmm. it wasn't, you know, I, I was, it was nothing to do with me. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I would, yeah, I was, I would, I would have loved to have played it, um, but there was, they had reasons why, you know, they didn't want me to play, so. Oh, so that means they didn't ask you? Correct. <laughs> Great. Oh, uh, yeah, they were different. I'm trying to be as nice as I possibly can about this. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bill Ward's out here. That's Bill. Excuse us, folks. He hates him. <laughs> not true, Bill. <laughs> we went the last time we tried to get the band together. There was a lot of problems on Bill's side. And things just went on for months and months and months. And, and the whole thing fell through. This time, we had three months to say yes, rehearse, and go on tour. So we, we couldn't afford to wait around for Bill. Generals gathered in their masses.
evil minds that plot destruction. I first heard about the Ozfest uh, with Tony and Giza being there on MTV. You know, that's when I first got the news of it. And um, my immediate reaction was one of uh, deep sadness because um, I didn't understand what was going on. Uh, and I, you know, so I, I didn't know the full circumstances of it. So I just felt um, pretty much, you know, left out and stuff. We don't want to encourage him around anything. Mm -hmm. So he's, I mean, he's got his own feelings. He's got program. He's, 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 he's done to work very hard to get where he's got, like we all have. Right. But I, and I wouldn't want to be jeopardised his, his lifestyle for, for, it's not worth it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I started off with, uh, with us working, doing the Ozfest last year, right. and Kuzo and myself did that with Ozzy. And that went so well, we thought, well, yeah, let's, let's try again with, um, with, with Bill and get Bill involved. It's like, all, all I ever hear about when I'm on the road in America and in Europe, and everybody comes up to me and goes, Sabbath, man, Sabbath is what it's all about. Now, and the reason why we got back together was because of um, a lot of people wanting to see the original format. <laughs> So they officially reunited for a full concert in their old hometown of Birmingham, and that old Black Sabbath magic, amazingly, was still there. Doing those shows in Birmingham shocked a lot of people. Shocked me, I tell you. It shocked us all, <laughs> because we went out, and, you know, the band has got such a unique sound, you know, that when we all play together, and I think a lot of people forgot that, even ourselves, and the, the amount of people that come up afterwards in the business they were just totally blown away with it. live CD, double album, is called Reunion. First official live album that we've ever done. We hadn't played some of these songs, literally, since 1970. It was the old Black Sabbath again. still work but when, when Tony was saying at rehearsal we don't need to rehearse because we wrote the 
you know. So we just we just wrote, got, talked about old times, got up and played, you know. Is it like Bill Ward does? He's a completely different drummer to anybody else. What was it like to revisit this music? A a as in, did you have to, was a lot of memorization, or did, were you able to bring musical experience you've learned over the years to these older songs? A little bit of both. It's, it's, it's incredibly nostalgic. It's very warm. Before, before we tried to get a reunion, it was just crazy. It just, we just didn't, it just didn't, it just didn't happen. So we just said, you know, finally said, I've got it together. And we were playing, and let, let all the politicians and all the, co you know, contract people sort the f out behind. And we, you know, the bottom of the line, if we don't get up there and play, there ain't a band called Black Sabbath out there, you know. It was better than it ever it was, I think, before. We got on a lot better. Uh, personalities were a lot easier to deal with. Right. It was really good. We, uh, we had a good time playing in different lineups that I've had uh, within Black Sabbath as well. Different members, good players, great players coming in. Right. But it's never been quite the same as uh, uh, as Bill and Geese were played. Um, there's that unique thing that that when we're all together, it sort of creates that sound. Walking paranoid and Vincent Spiral Architect. Tony just started playing that front piece and do it a while. I don't think I've felt that much energy and so alive for years. I just like cut loose and got aggressive. It's incredible.
I think we all wanted it to happen. Um, but it was probably waiting for it to be approached in the right way, you know. Put the four of us together, it gets kind of crazy. You know, we, we're pretty... There's something happens when the four of us get together, so... Yeah, it's I been a lot of... <laughs> bottom line is, it's been a lot of fun. It's, it feels really good. Because last time I probably said there are... The, the last thing in the world that would ever happen is a Sabbath reunion. We all said a lot of bad things about each other, but to me, the, uh, what I can say is water under the bridge. I think we're getting on better than we ever have, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Really are. I think, you know, there's a, we, we're, not, we're not idiot kids now, we're idiot grown ups. <laughs> <laughs> I came into England um, on the 8th of November mm -hmm. and we, you know, for the first few days, you know, we're kind of a little bit tired and, you know, kind of getting used to getting back into things. Um, by about the 20th of November, 21st of November, the band was locking up real well. We were nailing the sun. For the first three or four days, we were sitting around a table talking about old war stories and about old crazy stuff that we got up there. And as soon as we got in our rehearsal, it was instant, just like gelled, you know. But there's no, you can rehearse till you're blue in the face, you get a running order and whatever. But there's only one good rehearsal, and that's You're thinking, oh, I hope I don't slip over or fall off the stage, or hope my bass string doesn't break. See, it's still a challenge whether you're doing it because you're a big celebrity or you're going in front of a nightclub. It's still a challenge, you know. What I'm proud of most of all is that after all, all the water's gone under the bridge, that we're all back together friendly. We're all, we're all getting on better than we ever have before. We, we've all learned a lot, we've all been through a lot. And we're all still alive, just about. <laughs> and, uh, and, and we're, we're going to go out and uh, give, some, give the people who never got the chance to hear the original, or see the original Black Sabbath perform, an opportunity to see it.
is, is there sort of a musical moment that 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 you would like people to look at and say that's what Black Sabbath is all about? Like if you had to pick an album or a song, the new the new album, the new, the, the new live album, the new, the new live, album. Yeah, we that we that hands down. And I'm not just saying that as a promo thing. That, well, that, that wraps the, everything up, doesn't it? You know, you know all yeah, our career was, in one album. You know, so that was a special special night. That was very. I mean. I mean, the crowd were better, as good as the band, you know. Look, the energy, that, that, like, to feed you on. And I looked around on stage and it was, like, so emotional for me. That, that's what I couldn't believe last night, the, the energy that I did get from the music. It was one of those special gigs that I will forever remember and I will, I will take that to my grave. It's one of my, my little gigs I'll take to the next world. Think of um, playing a, a Europe tour with, with Sabbath in this lineup? I, I would love to play live with Black Sabbath, yeah. And, you know, it really, I, I feel kind of a little weird um, cause I, because it's really up to the other guys, you know, if they would like me to play. Then you know I'm on my end. I'm totally willing to do it. During rehearsals for a pay-per-view TV concert, drummer Bill Ward suffered a mild heart attack and had to be hospitalized and replaced for a European tour by drummer Vinny Apice. Unfortunately, when we started this this thing off, Bill, Bill Ward had a heart a heart attack, and so he couldn't do the tour. It happened on the first rehearsal, the first I think it was first day or second day after the rehearsal. He. Uh, he said to me, he said, I've got all this weird feeling in my arms. I don't know. And uh, he said, could you ask his mate, this guy that works for him, to come up and rub his arms for him? So I said, yeah. So I went and fetched him, which is unusual for Bill, because he'd normally go and, you know, ask himself. So I went and got him, and, and I went out for a walk, come back, and I saw his ambulance come flying past. And that was it. That was that. Yeah. But, uh, it, you know, quite honestly, Tommy, it's best it's happened for him where we were because if it had been on tour, if we'd been in Poland or something like that and it had happened, it would have been in serious trouble. Um, he's had an operation, they put a balloon up into his, uh, clear his archery. Bill's disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the fear in Bill's eyes. Now the final I wouldn't be happy if you I was Bill on the stage. <laughs> you got your pacemaker well charged up, have you? It's all taken care of. I think everybody's good. Bill's a little nervous. Ozzy's not paying attention, but that's cool. All right. Bill has always been the, the butt of most of the jokes. And drums, Mr. Bill Ward, the only game. 